But the purpose of this demonstration, I'll put a bit of brad string on the reel. This is a technique for doing the FG knot, which you can easily do in a, the uh, rod holder in a boat. Basically, you pull your line up through the, the eye. I'm going to put a bowline knot in here with an easy release. So, what I've essentially done here, do a loop, bring your line in through the loop around the back and just put your little loop in there pull it up tight and then you've got a quick release on there when you want to release the line so pull that up there isn't too much drag on here but there's enough drag to keep this line tight now I've got some heavy mono here for the demonstration this is 300 pound mono hoping it's going to make it a bit easier for you to see so the FG knot is just a series of twists you come through behind with this your braid and you can just bring it around the top and bring it around the front and underneath and essentially what you're doing with that is you're twisting the braid around the mono so you carry on like that like that pull that up you're going to carry on you're going to do that around about 15 15 to 20 times. And you can probably hear the line is just slowly getting pulled off the drag of the reel as it you can hear it clicking down there. But the braid, well the braided line has been kept tight all the time. When you get up there, you've done around say 15 or 20 of your twists. Just lock that on there with your finger and thumb. Grab your little taggy and the easy release. Just give it a little pull. It just comes loose. And pull that out. And I transfer that over to my left hand because I'm right handed. Now those twists are what's going to do all the locking. You're going to do a series of half hitches for now, which is going to help lock everything together. I'm just going to pull it down a bit. So one half hitch this way. Pull that up tight to your twists. And another half hitch the other way, which is the posing half hitch. Now what you're going to do now is you're actually going to lubricate the line. And you're going to pull it up tight by lubricating you're going to hopefully reduce friction and any friction burn on the lines so I've lubricated up like that crank the drag up on my reel and I'm actually going to pull really hard I'll do the hard of that and in doing this the braided line going to bite into the trace. Now we're going to do another half dozen of these opposing half hitches. Pull each one up. Half hitches down here. Yeah, to tidy the, the finish and not the knot off, what we do is we snip the line off. I'm just going to heat the end of a line here. And that creates a little bit of a ball on the end there. So you haven't got any sharp edges to cut into the braid when it's just up against the braid. So now we'll just do a few more of those opposing half hitches till we get to the end there.
right so that's locked it reasonably tight up to the end of a trace now we're going to do a few more half inches seven or eight or nine or ten of them along the braided line and that's going to help protect the braided line so these are all posing each other one's under one's over So that's probably essentially enough there. Now to lock the knot off and tie the twist of the half hitch has been coming undone, you just do another half hitch, but take several loops around the main braid line, maybe four or five of these loops. Is that sharp okay? Pull that through like that. I'm going to hold that bit of tag line through my thumb and the next finger there. I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, five. So what it's essentially done is just tidy that line up and you're going to pull it a bit of line through there. I'm going to wet it before I pull it through there just to lubricate it. So what you did was you undid the ones that you did before almost. Yeah, I just, yeah. So that's your locking knot there. Let's come up with a nice, tidy line. Yeah, I'm just going to cut this bit of tag off down here. So yeah, that's a... Uh, there you go, a low profile FG knot. Yeah.